Hey everybody, I'm Penny the Dragon and welcome back to Clonod. The warm spring sunlight shines down on me. A refreshing breeze blows past. I have plenty of leeway to make it to school on time. If I keep walking at this pace, there's no way I'll be late. It's not that I believe Fujibashi's... Did I just say that right? Gosh. Fujibashi's fortune from yesterday. However, just to be safe, I'm walking to school earlier than usual. But then again, to other students, this might already count as being a bit late. There aren't that many people wearing school uniform uniforms along this road anymore. In any case, it's still early enough for me to get to school on time. Now, according to Fujibashi's fortune, there should be an old lady having trouble crossing the street. And I'll be late if I were to help her. To begin with, there isn't an old lady at the cross... I glance just behind the white, line, white lines, painted like a ladder on the asphalt. I don't like this. Where I'm looking, there's an old lady holding onto a utility pole with her hips stooped. She keeps glancing left and right. No matter how I look at it, something is wrong. All the other students feign ignorance and simply walk past her. And our eyes meet. Perhaps it's just me, but it feels like she's staring at me. It almost feels like she's silently saying, You can't even lend a helping hand when others are in trouble? If I give in to those eyes, will Fujibashi's fortune come true? I mean, you're late to school every day anyways. Talk to her. <sighs> I would really love to pretend I didn't see her, but I can't just leave her be when she's looking at me like that. I guess I'm more of a busybody than I thought. I let out a sigh and walked the crosswalk. Hey, mate. Yeah! What is she? Sh she suddenly screams at me. What is she doing? We're try You're trying to cross the street, aren't? Ah! She keeps yelling at me as she steps backward. Why? Like I was saying, are you... Ah! What is she... I don't get it. <laughs> Why is she doing that? She just keeps screaming. Say something that makes sense. Ugh, what a scary kid picking on the elderly. Fine, you old hag. Hey, look, that guy's mugging that old lady. What? Oh, it's that third-year delinquent. Yeah, you're right, he does look like a bad person. What did, why? She was just trying to help her cross the street. Somebody call for help. He's going to beat the old lady to death. He hasn't touched her. Well, that's strange. For once, I'm trying to do something nice, and everyone here is vilifying me for it. As my attention shifts to the rubberneckers, the old lady suddenly moves. She takes a step back, straightens her bent back, and quickly reaches for the ground. Wait right where her foot was, there's something shining. A 500 yen coin? In the blink of the eye... In the blink of an eye, she snatches off the ground and runs off at a speed that would put younger people to shame. Hey. Don't tell me she was looking around because she was waiting to pick up the f 500 yen coin. And did she yell at me so that I wouldn't take her 500 yen? Oh, thank goodness, she managed to get away. I really thought she was going to be beaten to death. Yeah, that guy's surprisingly slow. Maybe because he wasn't trying to beat her to death. Gosh, people. I guess he's not that tough after all. What the hell are you staring at, huh? Ah, oh, he's coming this way! <laughs> oh, oh n now! Okay, I see. I see what y'all are about. Mm. The onlookers scramble away like baby spiders. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Jeez, what's with this morning? I'll be thanked and get some money for my trouble? Fujibashi's fortune was a sham. Hell, I'm an idiot for believing it for even a second. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It's been a while since I've attended homeroom. I say attended, but all I really did was sit there in the classroom. I don't remember a thing the teacher said. The bell rings and ends homeroom. The homeroom teacher walks out of the room. I cannot read that. Why Why would they put white letters on a mostly white background? Like, this is very bright, bright, brightness. Good job, Penny. You're good with words. It's now the short recess before first period. Rather than preparing for a lesson, I space out. Well, I mean, that's what you always do. Uh, um, hmm? Oh, Fujibashi looks at me with her timid-looking eyes. Uh, you're not late today. Yeah, your f your fortune was off. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Shouldn't you be disappointed? Th th that's not true. 
But your fortune was off. I, I think it's good if certain fortunes don't come true. Huh, is that so? That's because I think it's a good thing you came to school on time. Having said so, Fujibashi pulls her deck of cards out of her pocket again. And then she shuffles it. Looks like she's telling my fortune once again, because it went so well last time. Uh, and they fall all over the floor again. Well, you are nothing if not consistent. However, unlike yesterday, she does not immediately pick up the cards. She stares at them on the floor. Okazaki-kun, something good will happen to you tomorrow. What? You'll also have a lovely encounter. Hold on, you're telling me that just by looking at the cards on the floor? Um, yes. I didn't even get to pick any cards this time. That's how this fortune works, I think. What do you mean, you think? <laughs> Besides, don't you go, ah, when you drop the cards? That was, uh, a secret chant. <laughs> yeah, right, some secret chant that was. Well, fine. So, th what is my fortune? Uh, you'll have an intense impact. The hell is that? It'll refresh both your body and spirit and get you through the day safely. I don't get it. It's fortune telling, after all. A man's intuition again? Uh, that's right. So, what's that lovely encounter about? Uh, yes, er, um, that card there. Fujibashi points at a single card. It's the Queen of Spades. You'll meet a really gentle girl. Gentle? Um, yeah, she's gentle. Um, spade represents a sword. In other words, she's someone who'll protect you like a knight. She's gentle, but she's like a knight. Okay, that sounds like every dystopian novel ever. That's why I'm sure she'll be a gentle person. How does... A sword? If I had to choose, I'd say that means aggressive. Wouldn't that make her a dangerous person instead? Will today's fortune come true? It's fortune telling after all. That sure is a vague response. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's kind of kind of what fortune telling is about. Vague responses. I'm tired. It's been a long time since I've t attended first period. And just like Homer, I don't remember a single thing that was said. On top of that, I feel terrible as everything is putting me to sleep. Should I sleep through second period or should I just leave the classroom and ditch? Whoa, why are you here? Just as I was zoning out, I hear a familiar voice from above my head. This voice is... This sure doesn't happen often. It's still morning. Kyo? I see a familiar face. It's Ryo Fuj Fujibashi's twin sister, Kyo Fujibashi. Even though I'm branded as a delinquent, she's one of the few students who doesn't mind talking to me. She's part of another class. Why are you here? Hmm? Because of this. She shows me what seems to be a lunchbox wrapped in a napkin with a floral pattern. Are you giving me that? You're really an idiot, aren't you? <laughs> Why would I give you a lunchbox? That's true. I would find it perplexing if she suddenly gave me one for no reason. Rather, it would make me wonder if she had poisoned it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. You're thinking something rude, aren't you? It's just your imagination. Right. Right, that's what it is. Oni-chan, what's the matter? Hey, Ryo, here. As Fujibashi walks towards us, Kyo swings the lunchbox she's holding in her hand. Why do my cats feel the need to use th the one litter box in my office? There's two other litter boxes, Hamilton. Two other litter boxes. Must you use this one? Why is this one everyone's favorite? I don't understand. I don't understand. As Fujibashi walks towards us, Kyo swings the lunchbox she's holding in her hand. Oh, my lunch. Well, duh. Of course she brought lunch to her sister, Tomoya. Gosh. Yep, you left it on the table. Thanks for bringing it. Don't mention it. Why are you handing it to her now of all times? Hmm, what of it? Like the two of you live together, why are you handing her the lunchbox now? Don't you two come to school together? Uh, Oni-chan slept in a little today. Wake her up. Oh, uh, well, I, I, I kept trying until I had to go. <laughs> I'm not bragging, but I'm terrible at waking up on time. Does she throw a fit? She's quiet, doesn't move, keeps her eyes half closed. That's creepy. Hmm. But you weren't late now, were you? Oh, yes, I was. I, 
when I run short of time, I take the bus. Oh, so you two, t so you two took different buses. I hate buses. So only you were late, huh? No way, I made it on time. How? Don't just don't worry about it. Don't. It's not important. Bet you changed your attendance record. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You did that during our second year, didn't you? I'm surprised nobody ever found out. Well, that's because I changed it back after you did it. Wait, what? Eh, really? I'm confused what they're talking about. Of course, it's your fault that my attendance was in such bad shape then. What are you saying? You think you can move on your third year by move on to your third year by cheating like that? Thanks to you, Sunohara, I had to take tutoring classes. Oh yeah, there were a couple times I marked him absent even though he was there. Do students take their own attendance in Japan? I'm confused. I'm going to assume that's what happens. This girl sure does some crazy things. In any cases, what about you? In any cases. In any case. What do you mean? Why are you here? That's awfully rude. Yeah, gosh. Oh, is that too ambiguous? Why are you here in this classroom so early? I got here on time. What else? She froze. Why is that surprising? You're kidding. Is it that rare for me to be here on time? It's not rare. It's just I would say I have a better chance of seeing a UFO. I would qualify that as rare. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen a UFO or know anybody who's seen a UFO. So I'd, I'd call that rare. Oh? Oh, hey. What did, I, what did this? What did I do? Oh, I apparently like opened up a history or something. I don't know how I did that. Guess my presence... My presence transcends even supernatural phenomena. Oh, could, but could it be that you stayed here after class yesterday? <laughs> did you really? Like the hell I did. Then you must be an imposter. Ah, uh, you are no Gazaki-kun? Where's the real one, then? <sighs> Why are you guys hassling this guy? Come on. He's, he's made it to class. Give him the benefit of the doubt. A lot of a sigh and glance at the sky. I fought my fate today. Kyo looks a little worried and places her hand on my forehead. I don't have a fever. Don't give me that pitying look. Don't mock me! <laughs> I love it. What should I do then? Wouldn't you normally ask what fate? Uh, could it be the fortune I told you? Yeah, that's right. Did Ro tell your fortune? Yeah. After my re response, Kyo looks at me with a weird expression on her face. What is that face? Wow. <laughs> What's with that look? Nothing. Oh, I told him another one this morning. What was it? Um. Do you not remember? Huh? Jeez, Kyo, your sister is such a bird brain. Ouch! Did she hit me? Come again? Didn't you hit me because you heard me? Oh, I remember now. A gentle girl will have an intense impact on him, and both his body and mind will be refreshed. Hmm. I wonder what that could mean. Hamilton, what do you think that could mean? I think the only thing Hamilton's thinking about is eating the lizard. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Again, why are you looking at me like that? As she takes a breath, Kyo shakes her head and lays her hand on my shoulder. She then nods. Her eyes conceal a hint of pity. Well, hang in there, she says and then leaves the classroom. What's that supposed to mean? I wonder. Fujibashi and I were left to puzzle over this mystery during the short time before the next bell. <sighs> I don't, I don't have to fake yawns. I am always tired. I can always summon up a yawn if I need to. 
With no plans to go to college after graduating, nothing feels more meaningless to me right now than sitting through this class. <laughs> Sunahara isn't here either. I'm bored. My mind continues tuning out the teacher's words. The subject may change here and there, but it's all the same to me, really. Don't skip class. Stay in class. It is important to go to school. Stay in school, kids. Very important. It's not like there's anything else fun to do, and that's also a good point. There's really nothing better you can do. I don't know about other places, but in Georgia, it's illegal to skip school. Like, the cops can arrest you. It's bad. Bad, bad, bad. I guess I'll just waste my time here. Morning classes finally came to an end. How do these guys manage to sit through four hours of classes every morning? I mean, you just do it? I was only able to stomach it because it was the first time in a while I'd made it to school on time for first period. Hey, Okazaki, let's go eat lunch. Don't say that like you've been at school all this time. You just got here, right? I showed up because I was hungry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Same. <laughs> What a wonderful school experience you must be having. Well, if it were up to me, I'd still be at the dorm. Unfortunately, they don't serve lunch there. So, here I am. You're no different from a patch of mold that lives in that dorm. You know that, right? Ouch, Tamoya. That hurt. Ow. That's going to leave a scar. Oh, it's crazy busy in here today. Oh, I spy the rugby team. Let's buy some bread and leave. <laughs> So were you traumatized that you'd never that you'll never be able to eat in the cafeteria again? Huh, no way. Want to eat here then? Bread sure is delicious, isn't it? <laughs> we can eat bread here. <laughs> oh. Oh, Sunohara. You've made your bed and now you have to lay in it. Poor baby. <laughs> the moment we sit down, Sunohara rips open the bread he bought and shoves it in his mouth. He washes it down in one go with some tea and... Whew, what a meal. See you later, I'm off. Gotta go. See you later. Ta-ta. Cheerio and all that jazz. How fast can you be? Before I even have a chance to be dumbfounded, he makes his retreat. Probably because the table right behind us is the one that the rugby team normally sits at. So this is how you'll be spending your last year here. What a pitiful thought. Mm-hmm. Sunohara returns right as break ends. Where'd you go off to and hide? Next to the human model in the biology lab? What would you do with the human model in the biology lab? Is that so? <laughs> Once afternoon classes and homeroom end, everyone but the students in cle on cleaning duty leave for the day. There's another homeroom at the end of the day? I don't know, my high school didn't have homeroom. We had homeroom the first day of each semester to get our new class schedule, and that was it. We didn't go to, like, what What do you do in homeroom? Like, all your other classes are going to take attendance, so there's no point in taking attendance. And, like, other teachers are perfectly capable of giving you announcements and stuff. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand what the point of homeroom is. Someone please explain it to me. I don't, I don't get it. School's done, eh? So what should we do? You know, you kind of remind me of this guy, Yasu. Who's Yasu? We can both be detectives and you'll be my assistant. I, I feel like this is a reference I should get, and I don't. So that joke just went over my head. Yuhai? Who's Yuhai? Go to class 3E. Okay. It's terrible. Kyo Fujibashi is d dead. Is she now? I don't know why I'm playing with the slinky. I have serious attention problems. Want to do something like that? What would you? Wh I don't. I read words, things. I don't know what that says. I can already tell that's not going to end well for me. <laughs> well, that's the fun part. <laughs> Please stop. Quit being stupid and let's go have some fun. He makes me grab my bag and shoves me out of the classroom. Why would you spend more time in the classroom than you need to? I don't have any money. I'm sure we'll find someone we know if we go to, it, to the arcade. And you just assume that they will give you money. Or are you going to bully them again? 
I do have time to kill, so I end up going with him. All I do is watch, though. Do we not even get to see the arcade? Is that it? Okay, well, that's the end of the day. Are we doing the are we doing the dream thing? The bottom of the hill. Oh, it's not the dream thing. Cool. All right, well, we just didn't dream. That's fine. The girl is there again, standing still as can be. Morning. Oh, good morning. What are you doing here again? I was waiting. Waiting for me? Yes, I thought we'd go to school together every morning from now on. That's a little clingy, but okay. Huh? If that would bother you, then I won't, but... School's right there, you know. You just have to climb this hill, and that's all. Yes, but she glances at the school gates. Climbing this hill, I guess it's something she still needs to work courage, up, work up courage to do. So I guess not then? She looks back at me, holding her hair as it dances in the wind. <laughs> if you wait for me, you'll be late for school every day, you know. That's okay. It's much better than not going at all. You should just go on your own, with or without me. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. I begin to climb the hill after getting an answer I'm happy with. After walking for a bit, I hear footsteps behind me. Without looking back once, I head through the school gates. Um, Okazaki-kun? Yeah? With nothing in particular to do, I had just decided to lie down on my desk when Fujibashi comes to talk to me. Uh, here. Uh, worksheets? Are these from Homeroom? Yes. Thanks. I reach my hand out to get these worksheets from Fujibashi, but otherwise stay slumped over. Homeroom gives you worksheets? What are, what, what, what possible worksheets, worksheets can they give you? It's not an actual class. Is there a cat climbing on that thing? Hamilton, behave yourself. What's the matter with you? Hey. My cat is intent on eating my lizard. Do you need something else? Um, no. The class president hurries off. It's lunch break, but Sunohara still hasn't shown up. Taking the day off today? I leave the classroom alone. As always, the front of the bread line is crowded. It's so crowded it's difficult to even approach the display case. Actually, it might be worse than usual. A single male student rushes past me and dives straight into the billowing crowd. Uh, he's quickly swallowed up and lost to the sea. There isn't anything else I have planned today other than buying bread. I guess I'll go. I wedge my body into a small space in the crowd. I then push forward by using my arms to shove any students blocking my path out of the way. Is there, do they not have lines? What? A <laughs> I don't understand. I'm doing this. I recognize the back of another student's head. Sunohar, he didn't even come to class. Why is he here? I grab his shoulder. Hey, what is it? Oh, Okazaki, it's you. What are you doing here, man? What else? I'm in here buying bread. Is there something going on today? It's not usually this crowded. You came in here totally oblivious? I can't believe you. Just look. I look to where Sunohar points and see an advertisement hanging from the ceiling. It says, new product. Fillet of fish sandwich, 150 yen. I see. Now I get it. Is that not a lot of money? I don't know the exchange rate of yen to dollars. I don't know. There's just a lot of things I don't know. I'm just not getting a lot of stuff in this episode. That's great. Everyone's been spreading all sorts of rumors about that thing since it was announced last week. Do you really need to spread rumors about a sandwich? What? Oh, so you can explain to me what a fillet of sa- <laughs> A fillet of fish sandwiches? I think they meant filet. Excuse me? Take a closer look. It's not filet, it's fillet. I think it was just a typo. He's right. The current prevailing theory is that you get to fill it to the brim with whatever fish you want, but I don't know. There's no telling how deep this rabbit hole goes. <laughs> so serious about sandwiches. Actually, I'm almost certain that it's just a misspelling. Huh? Sunohara's shoulders are jerked down. My foot's stuck in the crowd. Save me, Okazaki. He reaches out his hand, but I pull back to avoid it. Mmm. Great. You're a great friend, Okazaki. Okazaki, I thought we were friends. Sorry, Sunohara. That was never how I saw it. 
Oh, ouch, this guy's a jerk. He's swallowed up and lost to the sea. I can't be standing around either. It's only getting more crowded as time passes. The mass of people feels like it's about to burst. Are you all that desperate to get a piece of misspelled bread? <laughs> I blindly charge forward. Then, what happens? I ended up getting one. In my hands is one of the brand new sandwiches. The label reads, Fillet of Fish Sandwich. Wait, so it really is filled with something? I step away from the chaos and bite into the sandwich before I, can't ev before I can even take a seat. It's full of texture. And full of flavor. The sandwich really is full of something. What is it? But what? Dun dun dun, the world may never know. I return to class to find Sunahara with his face buried in the desk in front of him. It's probably because he wasn't able to get one of those famous fillet of fish sandwiches. I just had one, but I decided to keep my mouth shut. Even if someone asked me what it was, I wouldn't know how to answer them. Sonara is still dejected, dejected even after classes end. While our classmates have started cleaning the area around him, he's still slumped deep in his chair, motionless. You sure he's not dead? He doesn't seem to have the energy to do everything. Anything. Stay strong. I leave Sonahara behind as I step out of the classroom. But what if he's dead? I'm alone now, so what should I do? Waste time inside school or waste time outside school? Um, let's go outside. We've been inside all day. Let's go outside. I can't go home. I can go home, then go to the shopping arcade. And once it gets dark, I guess I'll just go to Sunahara's room. I decide on my usual routine. Okay. Just as I walk into the hallway of the dorms, thud, the ground begins to rumble again. Move it! Some rugby team's idiot shoved me out of the way and rushed by. Hey! Miss Isan comes charging after them, but once again, she's just a little too slow. They've already escaped to the safety of their rooms. Ugh, I can't believe them. Don't they ever learn to cl clean their plates? I'm going to have to treat them like elementary school kids and trick them into eating their veggies or something. <laughs> Cooking isn't my strong suit, but I guess I don't have any other choice. I thought Sanohara said they don't serve food in the dorms. She starts to go back the way she came, tugging at her hair. Um, talk to her. Why not? You're too easy on them, Miss Isan. What should I do then? Masai san stops and turns around. Drop kick every single one of them that doesn't clean their plate, no questions asked. With no warning? Yep, just like the, ar the arm bar trick. You'll teach them a lesson that way. What? Having a private conversation in front of my room? You two sure are friendly. Sunahara peeks his grinning face out of his room. Sunahara, you were a good boy and cleaned your plate today. Isn't that right? Well done. Mmm... <laughs> I think she already treats them like elementary school students. Well, I guess. I stuck the peas in, in my nose and shot them at people for fun, so I'm not sure where they went off to. Drop kick! <laughs> she leaps into the air and leashes a devastating flying kick. Questions can wait until later. <laughs> I promise to really eat them next time. I hope you do. She walks off with those as her parting words. Drop kick! Ah! <laughs> I hear a loud scream from afar. Sorry, guys, my nose is still awful. <laughs> uh. This dorm just gets harder and harder to live in. Oh, poor baby, you have someone making your food for you. It almost feels like masai -san looks older every time I see her, because she's dealing with a bunch of teenage boys all the time. We well, does have to deal with the students here in the storm. Thank you. He actually realizes it. Sunahara applies to my comment without taking his eyes off the manga he's reading. Don't you think she'll be re ready to quit if this if that keeps up? What am I supposed to, What am I supposed to then? So what am I supposed to do then? Words, Penny. You know them. Speak English. I won't be able to s catch glimpses of her bra during the summer if she quits. Sounds like a real problem on your hands there. Not to mention your meals, our meals, or food, or laundry. I see where your priorities lie. I guess she's been at this for a while, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, she's been around since we started at this school. I wonder how old she is. Sounds like she came right back here after graduating from a junior college in Tokyo, so... 18 plus 2 makes... Uh, that makes 20. Whoa, she's young. You're not including the time she was the dorm mother here. 
Yeah, that's right. I didn't think a 20-year-old could be that well-developed. Yeah, so she's been here for at least three years. That puts her somewhere between approximately 23 and 99 years old. <laughs> that narrows it down. Good job, Sunohara. Proud of you. That's one big approximation. Why did you choose 99 as your high end? <laughs> Level cap. Figured as much. Gaming logic. Should I have gone with HP? <laughs> In that case, she's between 23 and 9,999 years old. <laughs> Let's just stick with level. But that would make her pretty young. She could be up there. You never know. You tell by her face that she's probably over 30. But, plus if she is 99, what's to say that about you wanting to catch glimpses of an old lady's bra? That's pretty sick, man. You're right about that. Okay, she's 23. Right. Logic. Flawless logic. You know, though, I've never heard that she graduated junior college. And now she's stuck taking care of all these tools? I kind of feel bad for her. She probably has some sort of reason for being here. A reason? Like what? Maybe our principal has some sort of terrible power over her. Dun dun dun! Be the door mother, or else your new nickname will be Jiggly Jugs. No, I'm not. I'm just got. We're just gonna move on. Wow, that'd be a serious threat. Fright? It's about all I can come up with, really. Why don't you ask her yourself? I'm not that interested in knowing. Okay, personally, I'm fine with anything as long as I keep getting to look at her bra. With that, Sunohara went back to concentrate on his manga. I start f fishing through his magazines. You know, I never had anything like the sudden, shocking, and refreshing encounter with Fujibashi's fortune s that fo Fujibashi's fortune said I would yesterday. What can you do, though? It's just a fortune. Are we going to go into the dreamland now? Dreamland? Yes, the illusionary world. I think the, f the flower changes color when you go to the illusionary world. That's cool. Next I see a floor. I'm staring straight at it. What was it? I feel like I was in the middle of something. I move my head up to change views. I see her, the girl that's been watching me. Her hand extends to me. I reach my own hand out toward it. Our hands overlap. While I can't feel anything, I still know they're there to, that they're together. As this happens, I realize something. I really have been born into this world. I've ended up existing after all. She can touch me. It's a sad world, but she's kind. When I touch her hand, both sadness and kindness fill my heart at the same time. I was born into this place because I sought her, sacrificing my life in a new world, the happiness I could have had, and everything else. I mean, it doesn't really seem like he was going to get that anyway. She pulls my hand up so that I can stand and leaves my and then leaves my side again. When she's a few steps ahead of me, she claps her hands. I begin walking toward her. That's right, I was practicing walking. That's what I was doing before. My memory is sluggish. I can't remember anything without working to do so. She's clapping her hands still. I should go. But my legs won't move the way I want them to. I fall forward yet again. But even so, she takes my hand once more and pulls me to my feet. How many times have I tried to walk? Finally, I manage to reach her. She holds my body no more than half the height of hers in her arms. You did a good job. Warmth. This world's one source of warmth. The warmth that I sought. Though my body of scrap can't feel the warmth of hers, I look up at her face. There's so many things I want to ask her, but I have no mouth so I can't speak. I turn my face to the window and light is constantly shining in through it. I want to see the outside world. I want to use the end of the... W Oops. I want to see the end of the world for myself with my own eyes. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to end the episode there. Uh, if you guys like to make sure that like button and comment down below, because you know how much I love getting feedback from you guys. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do, because I put out new content just like this every single day except for Sunday. And with all that said, I'll see you guys in the skies. Bye.